get the fridge, um, hopefully the power button turns it on. And then what you want to do, at the moment it's set on automatic, so that's what the A is. That's the best way to have it set up. So it'll pick which one it thinks is the most economic to run on uh, at the time. So at the moment, we're not hooked up to any mains power or a car. We're just sitting in the yard. So it's thinking gas is the best scenario, but it won't actually start on gas because we've got the gas turned off. So it'll throw an error code in a minute. But basically to change that, you just want to hold this center button here and it flushes. And then we can change it and select 240 volt battery power or gas. And the battery power will only work if you are set up right with your car. And then what we want to do is push the button again, and that'll tell us the coldness now. So we can turn that down or up, whatever you want to do. All right, and that controls both. Hit the button again, and we're good to go. That'll throw off red light. As you can see, it's flashing red and flashing all the lights are flashing. That's throwing that it's a fault because it hasn't found the gas set up. Just turn that off. Now, if for some reason you have a problem and it doesn't pick up the gas, sometimes it does happen, it liquefies the gas in the gas line and we get airlocks. Just run the stove top first and then you can turn the fridge back on again. Just turn it off, wait 30 seconds to a minute and turn it back on again and it just sort of resets itself to go through its cycle again to try and hook up. 